guys, so today I'm going to show you how I did this Valentine's look. So if you're interested to see how I did this, just keep on watching. Okay, as always, I'm going to start with the Smashbox Foundation Primer. And then I'll just gently put it all over my face. Please don't mind those red spots. I'm allergic to something, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'm in a shade Sun Beige and I just dot it all over my face. Before I forget, I'm going to put lip balm on my lips to prepare for the matte lipstick later. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in a shade light medium and then I just put it under my eyes. On the bridge of my nose forehead and the chin and then with the same damp beauty blender I just blend it all out so now I'm going to set the concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder with the same damp beauty blender. For the brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow in Ebony. here just brush the brows just to make sure that they're all going the same way and then I start in the lower part and shape it the way I want it and then whatever's left on the brush I just flick it up in the inner part in the corner part and then I'll go in the upper part and then just pretty much do the same thing So after lining up and shaping up the brows, I'll just go back and pretty much fill in the empty spaces. And of course, we set it using the ABH Clear Brow Gel. To prepare my lids for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to put it on my lids evenly. Make sure that there's no patches in there. Then I'm going to use the Golden Ochre from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette to pretty much set the primer. my face, I'm going to set the face using the Coty Airspun Translucent Powder just to make sure that I stay matte the whole day. And 
then I'm going to contour my face using my favorite NYX contour palette. I'm just pretty much going to mix all colors because why not? And then I carve up my cheeks, blend it all out properly, and then go to the forehead. then pretty much do the same thing on the other side and then just take your time and blend your contour just to make sure that there's no harsh line to have a flawless finish For the blush, I'm using the Kat Von D Hansel and Gretel blush and I just mix the two colors together and then just pretty much put it on the cheeks and then blend it together with the contour. For the nose contour, I'm using the Hula Benefit Bronzing Powder. It's just the perfect shade for the nose contour. just dipped it into my Cody airspun and then just pretty much chisel out my cheekbone because I had so much fun contouring in there so yeah For shadows, I'm going to start with the Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette and then I'm going to use this uh, transition color and then I'm just blending it out right here. I just dipped into the red ochre and Venetian red and pretty much mixed the two colors together and then put it in the outer corner. Then here, using the smaller brush, I use the Venetian Red and Real Gar and really focusing it on this part. Here with the same brush that I used before, I'm just blending all the colors together to avoid harsh lines. I'm just pretty much packing in some more colors and then blending it and then packing in more just until I get the colors that I want. And so on to the hardest part, we're going to cut the crease. I use the same concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and then use the concealer brush to cut it out. Here I'm just pretty much shaping my lid.
going to set the concealer with the color Vermeer. I'm just making sure and packing in properly. And then with a smaller brush, I mix the red ochre and Venetian red and blend the corners properly just to make sure that it's all blended out. So now for the fun part, I'm going to use the NYX Crystal Liner and I'm just pretty much following the cut crease. So we will just use the same colors that we used before for the lower lash line. create the sharp wing, I'm going to use my all-time favorite NYC liquid black liner. Lashes, I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and then I put it in a lower lash line too. Here to open up the eyes, I use the LA Colors Nude Eyeliner. For the lashes, I just use the House of Lashes Iconic. I spray it into my brush. And then I'm just dipping into my favorite So Hollywood highlighter and then just putting it all over my cheekbone. Look at that. Don't forget the cupid's bow, some more, and more, and more. <laughs> I use this smaller brush to put the highlight on the tip of my nose, in the bridge of my nose, just to make it a little precise. To seal it all up, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Here, I'm just lining my lips using the NYX Lip Liner in Ever. And then for the liquid lipstick, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick in Rebel Rose. So that is it guys, I hope you like this look, if you like it just give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe till the next video, bye!